Everybody, what's up? So, I want to talk about uh, something here on YouTube that kind of bugs me. And that's, when you're a creator and you have a channel, YouTube will send out this thing going, how to reach more people. Do shorts. No, I don't like doing shorts. I've created a couple, yes, but I didn't like them. But I also see that I'm not talented enough to draw people in with this stuff. I see channels, Scumbag Dad, Haley Morris, um, some deaf guy. This is a few examples who can create shorts and really have them make an impact. Because they're funny, they're, you know, they can be serious or whatever the case might be. But these are people who know what they're doing. I don't. I'm just a guy who likes to sit here and talk about what I like. The whole shorts thing, yes. Does it draw people in? Absolutely. It's not for me. It's not for everybody. You have these doctors and other people who take clips from, you know, their procedures and they show them and draws people in. Same with TikTok, how it draws people into YouTube because it's like, oh, hey, here's my TikTok. Here's my Instagram. Here's my YouTube. So the smaller bite size stuff gets eaten up. And people are like, hmm, you know, I wonder what this person does more. You know, what 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 else do they bring to the table? That's fine. That's fine and dandy. I, I have an Instagram, but I don't tell people my name. But it's because it's different from my channel name. I don't have a Twitter. I don't have a TikTok. I got rid of my Twitter because I got sick and tired of some of the crap on there. Yeah, I have threads, but once again. My name doesn't match. And it's so hard for creators who have passion, but they don't like promotion. I think that's it. Some people just want organic growth. They want people to hear about their channel from an XYZ source and go from there. Right? I don't do TikTok because I've seen a lot of the stuff that comes out of it, and honestly, it's not for me. The people that I, you know, mentioned earlier, I've seen Instagram stuff that they've done, as well as their YouTube work. Scumbag Dad. I mean, seriously, this dude takes and he shows the problem with what people do. In terms of how they get views on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. And the stuff that, you know, the stuff they promote. And it's the truth. It really is how people do these social experiments. And this other crap. But they know the, like he said, they know the outcome. They know it's going to happen. How much of this stuff is staged? Sorry, I'm not going to do it. If I create a short by accident because I didn't film a video that's long enough or I filmed something on my phone, because here, I'm going to create this as a short. Nothing I can do about it. That's why I don't like filming on my phone unless I have to for some weird reason because I know that's what's going to happen. I'm just, I'm just a hobbyist. That's all I am. That's all I will ever be. That's what I enjoy. So if it's your thing, hey, that's great. If it's not, that's great too. But don't expect any of that stuff from me. That's just the way it is. I'll talk to y'all later. Take care.